In this video, I'm going to be going over how to sign up with DreamHost step by step from start to finish. Signing up with DreamHost is a quick and easy process. I'll also be providing you with a DreamHost web hosting discount that will get you anywhere from 63% off up to 79% off over DreamHost monthly pricing. Depending on the DreamHost hosting plan you choose, plus you'll get a free domain name on annual plans. Let's get started with the DreamHost tutorial going over how to sign up with DreamHost web hosting. The first thing you want to do to sign up with DreamHost is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to DreamHost and so you can take advantage of getting 63% to 79% off the monthly pricing plus get a free domain name on annual plans. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link meaning I receive a commission from DreamHost at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome DreamHost discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the DreamHost web hosting plans page. Scroll down or hit the see all plans button to be taken to the web hosting plans and pricing section. You'll see two different plans you can choose from, the shared starter and the shared unlimited plan. Above the plans, you'll see you can choose to pay for a monthly, one year or three year term. Something I want to note about the monthly term is you'll only pay the introductory discounted price the first month. The next month, it'll renew at the full price of $7.99 for the Shared Starter Plan and $13.99 for the Shared Unlimited Plan. For the monthly term, you won't get a free domain name. You'll save the most money by going with the one year or three year term, plus you'll get a free domain name. Now let me go over the difference between the two DreamHost plans. The Shared Starter Plan is a great plan if you only need one website as this plan allows one website. This plan doesn't include an email address ending in your domain name, but you can add it for as low as $167 a month. If you need more than one website, then the Shared Unlimited plan is perfect as it allows unlimited websites. This plan allows unlimited email addresses to be created ending in your domain name. Once you decide on a plan and term, click the Sign Up Now button. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose the Shared Unlimited plan. You'll now be on the Choose a Domain page. If you went with an annual plan, then you'll get a free domain name with your DreamHost purchase. You'll see you can choose a domain later, register a new domain, or enter a domain if you already have one. If you aren't sure on a domain name now, click choose a domain later and DreamHost will create a temporary domain for you to use and you can choose one in the DreamHost dashboard after you've purchased DreamHost hosting. To register a new domain, click this and you can type in a domain that you'd like. If it's available, it'll say congrats, your domain is available. Click the add button. If you already have a domain name from another domain register, click the I already have a domain and enter the domain. Once you select one of these options, you'll now be on the secure checkout page. Over on the right hand side, you'll see domain privacy showing free. DreamHost offers free domain privacy with all domain names registered with them. This protects your personal information showing in the public who is database so that spammers and telemarketers don't get a hold of your information to flood your email or phone with offers of their services. DreamHost will show their default contact information instead of yours. You'll see a few DreamHost additional options they offer here. All these are optional and I'll go through them at the bottom of this page. Feel free to unselect anything now if you want to. Next, enter your card information. DreamHost also allows payments via PayPal. Below this, you'll enter your billing information and click the Add Credit Card button if you chose to pay via a credit or debit card. You'll now be at the Account Setup section where you'll want to enter your account information to be used for your DreamHost account. The next section, you can select additional options such as DreamShield Protection, DreamHost SEO Toolkit, and Google Workspace. All these additional options are completely optional and up to you whether or not you want any. DreamShield Protection will scan your website regularly to monitor its reputation and to find any malicious code, malware, out of date software, broken permissions, and more on your site. If anything is found, you are notified via email and in your DreamHost panel. If your site is scanned and your site is clean, you'll also be notified via email and in the DreamHost panel. This add-on is optional. The next additional option is DreamHost SEO Toolkit. SEO Toolkit will give you guidance on things you can change or do within your site to make it more visible in search engines. 
SEO Toolkit will provide you with do-it-yourself tools, insights, and a personalized step-by-step -step SEO plan, completely optional. The next additional option is Google Workspace, which will give you professional Gmail at your domain name, plus other Google Workspace tools like Google Drive Cloud, Storage, Calendar, Meet, and more Google Workspace tools, completely optional. Next, click the Submit Order button to complete your DreamHost purchase. You've successfully signed up with DreamHost Hosting. DreamHost will now email you your receipt and login details to log in to the DreamHost dashboard where you can begin in creating your site. That's my DreamHost tutorial on how to sign up with DreamHost. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more DreamHost web hosting tutorial videos.